that has extra animals and like horses to stay and sleep. They need a place to put the excrement. also have to brush and tack a horse, these are brushes, slide spray, really important, and a saddle. Table and clean the saddles, these are saddles. So another one of a stable hand's jobs is to make sure the horses play and have <laughs> a happy environment to live in. This is a happy environment. We'll go and Annie, our best friend. <laughs> also need human contact. Every animal that's been domesticated, really important that they get their fair share of human. <laughs> Are you with me, baby? I know, I know, my hands job is also to exercise the horses. Normally this would involve a bridle and a saddle, but when you're lazy and doing a school project, this works too. <laughs> shavings at the bottom to absorb moisture so that the horses have a safe place to rest and sleep and they stay warm. <laughs> it's also important for your horse's mental health so that they don't feel enclosed or trapped to have a window in every stop. So most farms use wooden shavings in the stalls, but eco-friendly alternatives get a big bag of wooden shavings that they buy, which involve cutting down trees and killing forests, would be recycled paper. Paper absorbs just as well, and it would actually be even lighter. Another cool thing about horse stalls at my barn, not all barns have these, most are just concrete floors, but they actually have recycled rubber from old tires in that, lining the bottom of the floor, so that it's easier on the horse's feet. My barn has a really big window that stays open during the summer, but during the winter, instead of paying to heat your barn, you take it easy on the electrical bills, shut the doors on both ends, try and keep them shut, and the horse's body heat will actually warm the barn. This is Psycho. He warms it a lot because he sweats a lot. He kicks a lot of walls and... He's angry. Yeah. Another job for stable hands is keeping medical records of all the horses in the barn. So all right, so that is a couple of ways how you can make your uh, barn environmentally friendly. And uh, that's it for our video.